Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, if you are into ethical hacking or cyber security, then today's video is for you. In today's video, we will learn how you can install the latest version of Kali Linux, that is 2025.1a, on VirtualBox on your Windows PC. In this video, I will talk about on setting up your Windows environment to run your Kali Linux, then download the required files, install and run VirtualBox, and then setting up Kali Linux on your Windows PC. So, let's get started. First, click on your Start menu and open Settings. Go to System and make sure your Windows is up to date. If not, update your Windows to the latest version. Next, click on Start menu and search for Control Panel and open it. Click on Programs and then click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down below and make sure Hyper-V is disabled. Again. Scroll down below and make sure Virtual Machine Platform is enabled. These are crucial steps, so make sure you don't miss them. Once done, click OK and close the control panel. Now, open any browser and type VirtualBox and click on the first download link. This is the official VirtualBox website where you can download VirtualBox application. Click on Windows Host and download the setup file. As I have already downloaded the file, so I am skipping this process. Now, you need to download this VirtualBox extension pack. Just click on Accept and Download and save the file to your desktop. In another tab, search Kali Linux and click on the download slash get Kali link. Now, click on Installer Images. Here, you will need to select your platform. So since we are installing it on a Windows PC, we will click on Windows version. If you are on a M series MacBook, you can select this one. Once selected, click on the download button. Save this file on your desktop. As mentioned here, this file is around 4.1 gigs. In the meantime, open another tab and search for Python. Download the latest version and install it. And also search Visual C++. Click on the first official Microsoft link and download and install it. Once everything is downloaded, close your browser. So these are the three main files. The first one is Kali Linux installer. Then we have our VirtualBox installer file and the VirtualBox extension file. Now double click on the VirtualBox installation file and proceed with the installation steps. The steps are very simple, just follow the video and complete the installation. So this might take a while and your VirtualBox application will be installed. Once the installation is complete, restart your PC. Once restarted, open the VirtualBox application. Now. Double click on the VirtualBox extension file that you have already downloaded. Now you will see a pop up to install the VirtualBox extension. Agree to these terms and conditions and proceed with the installation. Now close your VirtualBox application and restart it. Now click on New. Here you have to set a name for your virtual machine. I am keeping it Kali Linux. So this is the default directory where your virtual machine files will be saved. Under ISO image, click on this arrow and select others. Now select your Kali Linux ISO file that you have downloaded. Leave everything as default and directly click on hardware. Here increase your base memory under the allotted green line. And for the processors, I would recommend keeping it to 4. You can also go for 2 if you have a lesser number of CPU cores. Once done, click on Finish. Now, click on the Start button to start your virtual machine. Once the virtual machine has started, click on Graphic Install. So if your mouse is not working at this moment, you can use your keyboard keys and press Enter. Once the initialization is complete, you will be redirected to the installation steps. Just follow this video and continue with the basic installation steps.
Under the host name, you can type anything you like. So I'm keeping it Kali. Click on continue. Now skip the domain name and click continue again. Now type in your full name for your Kali Linux user. I'm keeping it Tech Richard. Now type in your username and password. So make sure you do not forget this username and password. Otherwise you will not be able to log into your Kali Linux. Once done, click on continue. Here, select guided use entire disk and click continue. Now select your hard drive and click on continue again. Now select all files in one partition and click continue. Now click on finish partitioning and writing changes to the disk and click on continue. Now confirm writing the changes to the disk by selecting yes and then click continue. So this will take a while now. For me, it took around 11 minutes for the complete installation. After the base installation, you will be prompted to install the Grub bootloader. Here, click on yes and then click continue. So if your mouse isn't responding, you can use your keyboard. Use the tab key to shift the cursor to continue and press enter. Select your hard disk for the grub installation with the arrow keys and use tab key to move the cursor to continue and press enter. Now wait for the grub installer to complete the installation. So once the installation is complete, use the tab key again to move the cursor to continue and press enter to reboot your Kali Linux. So once rebooted, press enter to start your Kali Linux. Now type in your username and password that you have set while installing Kali Linux and click login. Finally, you are done. Now click on view and select full screen mode. To enter or exit from the full screen mode, you have to press the right control key with the F key on your keyboard. And there you are, running Kali Linux successfully on your Windows PC. Now let's try and open our browser and see if the internet is working. Now, to exit the full screen mode, you need to press the right control key with the F key on your keyboard. Let's try to move our files between Windows and Kali Linux. So as you can see that currently moving files from Windows and Kali Linux isn't allowed. Also, if we try to copy paste the text between the two operating systems, it fails to use the clipboard at the moment. So to fix this, just shut down your virtual machine. Now, under our Kali Linux virtual machine, click on settings. Now click on general and move to the advanced tab. Here you will see that shared clipboard and drag and drop are currently disabled. Just click on them and select bi-directional on both of them and click OK. Now restart your virtual machine again. With the latest virtual box, guest tools are already installed by default. Previously, you had to install the guest tools manually. So if you are using an older version and want to install guest tools, I will share the complete guide link for the process in the video description below. So once you are logged in, try to drag and drop your files now. You can now copy and paste your text between the both operating systems. So congratulations, you have successfully installed Kali Linux 2025.1a on your Windows using your VirtualBox. Now you can explore its powerful security tools in a virtualized environment. So that's it. If you face any issues, you can comment down below and I will get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next one.